Hello everyone and welcome to the December, I'm glad it's right there because I almost forgot what we were calling it, the <laughs> December producer, producer letter live stream. Producer letter live stream. Yeah, because as opposed to doing a producer letter. Doing a live stream. We're doing a live stream. It's more personal. Uh, it's better. That's I right. Think. I agree. So my name is Eric Musco. If you don't know who I am, I am the community manager. And as indicated by December producer letter live stream, our lead producer on Star Wars The Old Republic, Ben Irving. For those that don't know you, Ben, why don't you talk a little bit about your history with uh, The Old Republic? Sure. Um, I started working here at Bioware around four and a half years ago, just before uh, the game went live. Uh, I've had many roles during my time here. Uh, most recently, the last few years, I've been the lead development director on Star Wars The Old Republic. So I've been responsible for most of the major game updates from 2.4 onwards. So Game Update 2.4, uh, Galactic Strongholds expansion, Shadow of Revan expansion, and then most recently, Knights of the Fallen Empire. Right. So, as, uh, as some may hear with their acute ears, <laughs> you are from Australia. I am from Australia, so with I a dwindling accent right. after being here for five years. To me, it still, sound, it still sounds distinct to me. So, I think one of the cool things, for those that don't know, why don't you tell the story of how you ended up at Bioware? Because I think that's a cool story coming from Australia. Yeah, sure. The, the short version, by the way. Ben and I have had this story <laughs> exchange. It's like a 45-minute story to be told over drinks, but... It is a long story. Ne is. Next community cantina, I'll tell the full version <laughs> to anyone who decides to turn up. There you go. Um, yeah, so the short version, you know, I, I wanted to make video games my whole life. I was living in Sydney, Australia, uh, and I was working in what I call mainstream software, doing website stuff. But right. what I really wanted to do was make video games. And uh, my girlfriend at the time, now my wife, uh, but my girlfriend at the time, I said to her one day, hey, I want to move to Austin, Texas. I'm going to quit my job, let's move there, and I want to work on Star Wars Old Republic and work at Bioware. And she laughed and said, you're crazy. I said, that's fair enough, uh, but I'm quitting my job tomorrow. So I went into work and I quit my job and I said, hey, I gave two months notice. In two months, we're going to move uh, to Austin. And then two months later, I was here for GDC Online uh, talking to the recruitment people at Bioware. I had no job. I just sold all my possessions, my car, my house, my everything, and moved here to try and work on this game. Uh, and funnily enough, it's worked out now that we fast forward five years. Right. It seems kind of silly in it's, hindsight. It has worked out. Um, but that's kind of how I got here, and then I've been here for about four and a half years since. That's very cool. So I have to say, someone, uh, Melodious, just asked in chat, how do I get my hands on that T-shirt? We're going to get I'm to... I'm glad you noticed. Because we'll they're to, pretty sweet T-shirts. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute. There may be a way for you to get one of these T-shirts, and we'll explain to you what they are. So why don't we talk a little bit about what today's stream is going to be. So I think clearly that's that's why the people are here. Yeah, the fact that all of chat is saying big announcement, big announcement <laughs> right. indicates that we should keep are moving. We, were we announcing something today? <laughs> uh, I don't really remember that. So we, we can talk a little bit about the agenda for today. Right. So we want to just talk you guys through the state of the galaxy, where Knights of the Fallen Empire is at. Um, talk a little bit about some of the player quotes and the feedback we've had from you guys. Obviously, we're going to get to Chapter 10, Anarchy in Paradise, yep. give you guys the release date of that. Uh, and then kind of the focus of the stream from there will be around the subscriber reward program. Right. One of the most important things to us is recognizing all of our loyal subscribers for you guys sticking with the game for so long and your ongoing commitment to the game. And we want to make sure that you guys feel rewarded for that. Yep. And that's kind of the, uh, the hype train that we started this sure. weekend sure. about the big announcement. That's where you'll find the details of that. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about some more things coming with Anarchy in Paradise, right. as well as all the events going through December into the rest of the year. So that's the kind of high-level summary of what we're going to go through. Yeah, so the stream in total will probably be, we said 30 minutes. Be honest, we have literally no idea how long it's going to take. It depends how much banter you want to insert into this disco and how is, entertaining the stream is. I that think is, that's the real factor. I think so, too. So it's probably going to go a little longer than 30 minutes, but we'll <laughs> see. Who knows? Um, and, of course, as we did mention, Melodious preluded this. The t-shirt. So, Ben, I think you have to tell the people about the t-shirt, because okay. this was Ben's idea. 100% Ben's idea. Sure. So, this is a limited edition, super rare, SWOTOR development team reward for shipping Knights of the Fallen Empire. Right. So, I don't know if you can... How close? Can you guys see it well enough? Yeah, their screen, you got to remember, theirs is, this is the screen. Oh, space. of course. Right, yeah. You just got me on the small map. Okay. <laughs> right. That's cool. Yeah. So, what it is, is it is the helmet of a cool, cool knight with... The main characters, with the main basically. Character, with the main yeah. characters in it. Um, and again, as Ben said, literally the only way to possess this shirt is to have worked in this building. To be on, on the development team. To be yeah. on the development team in Knights of the Fallen Empire. But we figured, because this stream was all about rewarding people, we yep. thought if you guys tune in from now until the end of the stream, at the end we'll do a raffle or something. Yeah, we're going to we'll give away, I don't know. 
Yep, three, four, three, three four. We're, we're gonna do all t-shirts. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna do a raffle in uh, in chat at the end of the stream. We'll tell you how to do that at the end of the stream. So stay yep. tuned, and you can get a chance to win one of these shirts, which are amazing. Cool. So do we want to jump right in? I think we should keep moving. Yeah. All right, let's do it. So State of the Galaxy, we just want to spend a couple of minutes talking about how we got here. So, you know, it seems like a millennium ago for us that we started talking about this idea of Knights of the Fallen Empire and what it could be. Um, and we did a whole lot of um, focus group testing and, and community and consumer insight testing, surveys. We did some UX testing here. We looked at all the data right. from the last yep. three, four years of the game that we had. Forums, Reddit, social media, talking to people at cantinas. Yeah. Literally, if there's a way to get feedback from people, we got it. And there was one overwhelmingly um, thing that, that stuck out, which was story. You know, people who play our game love Star Wars. They want to live the Star Wars fantasy. And the way to do that is to build an epic story. Right. So we kind of started down this path of saying, all right, let's take a return to Bioware story uh, where we make choices that matter um, and you can make dark side and light side choices. And it's all wrapped around a deeply personal story where you're at the center of everything that happens. And that was kind of the idea of Knights of the Fallen Empire. And a lot of that just came from community feedback and player feedback. Right. Um, the other part for us was saying, okay, we're going to build this story. It has to be the best story we've ever told. It just has to. Uh, so we tried to dream really big and, and do something different than we've done before uh, and try and do it better. Uh, and the point of all that is, you know, after we ship this, the response from all the players has been amazing. Right. You know, you guys have certainly made that all feel like it was the right decision. Right. Uh, and a lot, a huge part of this stream is basically celebrating that. Right. It's celebrating the fact that you guys uh, have been so overwhelmingly positive about this. And again, we want to recognize that, which is why we want to do the subscriber incentive program, right. which is going to have some really cool stuff uh, once we get a bit further into it. Yeah. So do you want to talk a little bit about, so we captured some of the, just literally screenshots of some of the feedback that we've seen regarding Fallen Empire. Um, and there's a specific reason that we wanted to highlight this. Um, do you want to talk about basically what we've yeah. done with player quotes? Yeah. So there are a couple of things. You know, I give a lot of presentations internally, and one of the things I was doing is talking about the success of Knights of the Fallen Empire and all the things you guys were saying about it. And I started putting a slide together of like, let's just take some player quotes from the first like six hours after we went live. Sure. And I started copying and pasting, copying and pasting. And I got to like eight slides in a PowerPoint. I'm like, this is ridiculous. You know, eight hours in, there was so much positivity around all of this. And it was just really overwhelming for us. Uh, and we just wanted to call it out and say thank you to you guys because we really appreciate all that positive feedback. And, and I guess the call out, you wanted to call out. Yeah, yeah. So one of the things that um, I think a lot of people don't necessarily realize is, I mean, we've, we've said it a lot, right, that we, we do genuinely listen to player feedback as much as possible and we take it into consideration a lot. This is one of the major functions of, of my team as a community team is taking things like the quotes that you're seeing, again, Reddit, Facebook, forums, everything. Any medium that we can see what you're saying, we capture all of those things in regular reporting that gets sent to these guys, yeah. that, that you guys weigh into decisions. This stuff gets sent into, it's like Ben just said, it's in PowerPoint presentations, probably a little less exciting than this one, that <laughs> the higher ups see, that see your feedback all the time. Good and bad. Like We look at all the feedback Absolutely. that comes through. And it's so valuable to us. And I think sometimes it's, it's not noticed that you guys literally read the whole interwebs right. as we, it comes and, to I'm sure, Certainly I can't read every word that's ever been posted, but we read a lot. We read a yeah. whole, we spend a whole lot of time doing it. Um, all right, so again, I think a lot of the focus on what we want to talk about today is is the players. So I know there's some announcements that we have. Do we want to, do we want to get into some of those announcements? Yeah. I mean, I, is the stream ready, do you think? Like, should we start talking about chapter 10, for example? Yeah, I think we could do that. I bet we could do that. I'm going to press the next button. Should, push, yeah, do should it. I press it. it? Yeah, absolutely. I'm excited. Okay. So this might be a letdown, the first screen, but <laughs> I want to start with this yeah. because... We want to bring you up and down, up. and then up and it's down. It's a roller coaster That's of emotions. Right. That's right. Um, so I wanted to put this shot in here because this is, for those of you that have been playing Master of the Fallen Empire and have finished Chapter 9, this is what you see as your <laughs> teaser for the story to come. You have this thing that doesn't tell you when Chapter 10 is coming. It just hints at a, at a brief overview of the story. Right. It's probably worth noting, by the way, if you're adverse to spoilers... There aren't very many at all, but there could be one or two if you haven't gotten, like, this screen that we're showing, if you've never seen it before, now yeah. you've seen it. Yeah. Just be no, no I probably should have said this before no we switch to it, but yeah, it's, no, I think good. it's fine. Good. Yeah. So what we are excited to announce, so is we're going to announce um, the release date of Chapter 10, Anarchy in Paradise, yep. which if you hit the button, so it will be coming out on February 11th. Yep. 
Um, so it's really exciting. You know, we want to start um, our monthly cadence of chapters going all the way through to chapter 16. And that first one comes out February 11th. Yep. Um, you get to continue your personal story. Yep. Uh, recruit a dangerous ally, Firebrand, who yep. uh, is also known as Kaleo, which for those of you who play the agent will know her very well. For those who don't, you will soon get to know her very well. She's a fantastic companion. And you get to make these deadly decisions and, and face the consequences of them. Right. And now... There's been a, bit, a little bit of chatter since Knights of the Fallen Empire went sure. live, which was choices that matter. Do they really matter? Yeah. And I think some people are sitting on the fence when it comes to that. And I think in this chapter, if you're a fence sitter, you're no it's longer, over. You you're no longer, no longer be on the fence. Yeah. Like, there are two really important things that come out of this, and obviously I won't spoil them. Sure. Um, but one of the consequences from the decisions you make in this chapter you will be pretty obvious to you when the chapter finishes. Like, yep. you'll for sure notice it. Yep. But there is another consequence that doesn't come out until later chapter, and I, w I won't spoil it. Sure. But when that thing happens, people will lose their minds. Yeah, it's one of those things where, uh, we've talked about this certainly even internally, where the decisions that you've been making up to this point in chapters one through nine, they absolutely have consequences. Okay. Oh, yeah. You may not have seen those consequences yet, but don't forget, the chapter, the story doesn't end. The story keeps yep. going, and so do the consequences, so... Yep, so that's really exciting. Chapter 10, February 11th. Yep, so uh, we have a clip, right? Oh, we do. We have a little teaser. Yep, so we have a little teaser clip of, uh, of Chapter 10, and then right at, that clip is very short. And then after that clip, we're going to come back, and we're going to start talking about the subscriber awards. Is that what's next on after yeah, that? I yeah, I think that, yep. All right, so I'm going to go to the clip. Let me uh, remove our faces so you, can, so you guys can see the clip. Why do I think you don't have my explosives? All right, let me get our faces back. Yeah, so that was a pretty short teaser. Obviously, sure. we don't want to reveal too much about the story. We know it's yep. really important that you guys see that firsthand for the first time uh, when you get to play it. Um, but just a, a little something something to keep you guys going. Yep. So, now again, one of the things, and this is the thing that we kind of were teasing a little bit as we were coming into the stream, is talking about specifically the subscriber reward program. Um, again, you know, as you said, we have people who've been with us for a long time, people who are sub subscribed. Um, with Knights of the Fallen Empire, I think, is where we saw this first, right? Yeah. I mean, like, it was the pre-order program leading up to Knights of the Fallen Empire was really, really successful. You know, I think a lot of people got really excited about the rewards right. and they were excited to participate. Sure. And we just wanted to do one better this time around and do something that we feel is the most exciting subscriber reward program we've ever put together. Yeah. So I think before we, before we click to the next slide and start the boulder down the hill of talking okay. about what's coming in the subscriber rewards, we're just curious. Um, you want, I think you should ask, because this was, this was something you wanted to know. Yeah, so I would love to hear from the people in the stream, um, who is your favorite companion in Knights of the Fallen Empire? So just type it into chat so we can see it scrolling through, right. your favorite companion in Knights of the Fallen Empire. Yeah, and so Ben and I, because it'll be about 20 seconds till we actually see it in chat, um, there's a reason that we're, we're curious. Of course. Of course, which yeah. we won't spoil yeah. until we see the results. We will do that. If you don't know, the options, <laughs> the options, of course, are here on your screen. Um, so let's, uh, let's see what, what we get from, uh, from chat. So I'm seeing a lot of Lanas. I'm seeing some Mars. I'm seeing a lot of HK55s, some Senyus, some Cops. We're pretty much seeing it across the board. Um, yeah, but... I'm, 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 I am noticing a trend, though. There's a trend. I feel like there's a pretty clear winner. Yeah. Should I press the next arrow? Uh, yes. So what we wanted to do for our subscriber reward program, first of all, is for those of you that are a subscriber on January 11th, we will bring back HK55 as a permanent companion uh, that you will get when Chapter 10 goes live on February 11th. Um, so HK55 was clearly the breakout favorite companion. No. Like when we followed all the the information post-launch. Yeah, all the quotes were HK55 related. A lot of the the forum stuff. I'm about seeing lots HK. of I'm seeing lots of yeses in caps and caps right now in chat. Yeah. Good move, all caps. Yeah. I so I, I mean, like, like anyone who has played through Fallen Empire, if you haven't played through Fallen Empire yet, you should. Um, HK is just 
the, his it's hilarious, hilarious it's right? So he, 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 he brings the humor through all the chapters. Yep. You know, it's a very serious story, but right. he brings comedy to it. And I think people appreciate that. And it's always been a, a core part of what Star Wars storytelling is about. Right. And so one of the things that uh, we really wanted to talk about a little bit, and some of you may know about this, and if you don't, then I'm about to tell you, is, um, again, we really wanted to focus in on, as subscribers and as players of our game, what you wanted. So one of the things we did is we posted a... Um, a, a, a survey on Reddit, on the forums. We emailed it to players of all types, current players, former players. Like We sent it to everybody just to be like, look, if you're going to subscribe, what would you want to see as a reward? And one of the things that we saw resoundingly, we saw this with Nico yep. before Fallen Empire, is that people really wanted companions. And then as we saw with... Um, Fallen Empire's launch, people really loved HK. So it seemed like a logical conclusion. Absolutely. I think, you know, the only reason we brought him back is because he's a crowd favorite. You know, yep. we went through a lot of different companions we could do as part of this this uh, reward program, and HK just made made perfect sense for us. So yep. there'll be a um, alliance alert uh, for those who qualify for this, where you will get a recruitment mission to go off and... Uh, I won't spoil the story, but do some things that allow you to get HK55 back as a permanent companion. So now, Ben, we did say that there was a, there, there was a, a big announcement tied to subscriber rewards. Yeah, because this certainly isn't the biggest. No, part no, of, it. of course. Yeah. We we weren't. This wasn't just going to be. This wasn't just going to be it. No, that can't be it. No, we want to have a longer term subscriber. Yeah. Reward so one of the things that we uh, again we felt we had this survey, and this wasn't something that people put in the survey. No. Because it's so cool, we didn't think to yeah. add it to the survey right. in the first place. Yeah. And we're really excited about this. Yeah. So let's talk about it. So for those of you that subscribe all the way from January 11th to the release of Chapter 16, so through to August 1st, we will give you a bonus chapter just for people who are subscribed through that whole period where you get to play as HK55 himself. Yep. Um, the date for that chapter coming out we'll announce in February. Um, but it's a really cool thing, and we're really excited to, to give this bonus chapter. Basically, we're saying, hey, to our most loyal subscribers in the game, um, we want to make sure we give you something really amazing. And we think a bonus chapter that no one else can play, right. except for those of you that qualify for this, where you play as HK55 was, was a really cool way to do yeah. that. And, and again, you play as HK, which is not something we've done before. have not done it before. It's uh, some new stuff we're working on. It's really exciting. Um, so yeah, I think I think you guys will love it when it comes out. Because one of the cool things, right, is that, um, and I even saw this when we, in, even in chat, when we said that HK was going to be a companion, is like, oh, but I'd love more story with HK. Yeah. If you only knew, the very next slide is, what about there an will entire? Be some story with HK. What about an entire chapter dedicated to HK55? So yeah. um, that's, but that's not it. That's not the only things that are coming with the subscriber no. award program. So there are a few more things that we want to hit next. Um, so a couple extra things that are going on. So first of all, for every month that you stay subscribed from January 11th, we're going to have a monthly reward. Um, most of these will be themed around HK55. Sure. Um, we won't go into the detail of them. We're going to announce them 30, 40 days out um, from each of the, the dates here. Um, but in addition to that, if you are subscribed on the first day of every month, yep. you will also qualify for early access to all the chapters, chapters. that come out that month. Yep. So two days early access. Yep. For example, if you're subscribed on February 1st, then you will get access to Chapter 10 on February 9th instead of February 11th. Yep. So it's just a little thing to, to reward people again, make it a bit, feel a bit more exclusive. Yep. For our long-term subscribers, you guys get something out of, of staying with us for the whole time. Right. Uh, and again, you can see this is a screenshot from the website, yep. and all of this will be going up uh, live pretty soon. Yep. You can find it at soitor.com slash fallen-empire slash rewards. Um, and that should be up. It might be up now. It might certainly be. Certainly by it, the industry. It'll, it'll be up very soon, yeah. And so, again, all of this information will be linked uh, on the site. So for the subscriber awards itself, why don't we recap all the stuff we just said? Because the nice thing is, is that over the course of the rest of Season 1, as it were, there's a lot of stuff that people can get by, by being subscribed. Okay. So the recap. And you help me if I miss something. I got, I got you. So first of all, subscribe January 11th. Get access to HK55 yep. on February 11th when... Yep. Chapter 10 comes out, or February 9th, if you obviously a, um, get the early access to it. Yep. So HK55, stay subscribed all the way from January 11th to August 1st, and you will get a bonus chapter where you get to play as HK55. Yep. And then every month in between, there'll be a reward that you get in-game uh, that will be themed around HK55. And if you are a subscriber on the first day of every month, you will get early access to all the chapters that come out during that month. Yep. 
You pretty much hit all of them. I, I have nothing else that I need to add to this. Okay. So well done, Ben. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. All right. Am I ready to press the next button? Um, yeah, that's all the subscriber reward stuff. Okay. So, but that's not all that's coming with Chapter 10. Right. So the we're calling this game update Anarchy in Paradise, right? That's the name of Chapter 10. But there are a few other things coming with that. And um, the details of this we're going to release probably uh, in January. Uh, but wanted to just give you a really quick summary of what some of those other things are. Yep. So if you want to hit the... Uh, Okay, so first of all, there'll be a new companion you can recruit into your alliance. Uh, there'll be an alliance alert, and you can recruit the Wookiee Gladiator, Boda. Um, he's obviously a very popular companion for those of you who have played uh, with him before. Um, and the way in which you get him will be fighting for the Eternal Championship. So the Eternal Championship, you can see the actually the background here is a part of the lower levels in Zakul. It's actually in the game now. It's a gladiatorial arena. So if you can defeat enough enemies, uh, you can recruit Bodar, you can earn his affection. And once you do that, once you have Bodar as a companion, this uh, eternal championship becomes a repeatable thing you can do. It's intended to be solo, so you play by yourself and you take on as many bosses as you can until you can't take any more. Yep. And the idea is that over time, as you get more gear and you progress, you can defeat more of these guys and eventually earn the ultimate title of the eternal champion. Yep. Um, and you can earn and you can earn yourself a Wookiee along the way. Yep. Which a Wookiee is, along the way. Which isn't bad. That was my band name in high school. <laughs> it's not my band name in high school. <laughs> that would be amazing. That would be a pretty good band name. Um, and the last thing we're doing is we're going to add some new levels to crafting. Uh, the whole idea for doing that is so that solo players have a way to craft uh, more powerful gear than they do today. Uh, and again, the details of all these things will come out. I'm sure you guys have lots of questions. Uh, we'll release the rest of that information, I think, in January. Yeah, in January we'll be releasing more details on that stuff. All right, so, uh, but that's not it. We have plenty of stuff that's going to, yeah, especially in December. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff happening in December. Um, so first up, we're running a bunch of our events. Um, so we have, starting on December 8th, running for one week each, we have the Gree event, followed by the Rackle Plague, that'll be on Tatooine, uh, and then Bounty Contract Week. So they run for a week each, uh, and again, you, Musco has a blog post that'll yeah. go up tomorrow. Yes, so you'll see about all, all of this stuff that we're about to cover on, on this page. So I have a blog that's going to go up tomorrow, which will spell out the details on um, the exact dates on when all these events are running, what Conquest events will be running alongside of them, um, and details on some of the other stuff that we are going to get to as soon as I start pressing the forward arrow. So we got a few more things still. Yep. Uh, so next up, we have our fourth anniversary. Yep. So Swotor turns four years old, which is really exciting. Uh, if you log in between the 8th of December and the 4th of January, you yep. will qualify to get the rewards. Um, there are a bunch of rewards we're giving out. My personal favorite is the HK47 decoration, yep. uh, which, which can, for those of you that are savvy screen. enough to notice is yep. the background of this slide. Yep. It's a uh, large statue um, that uh, you can put in your stronghold. Uh, we also have coming up uh, Life Day. So the details of which will be, there's, oh my god. So, <laughs> we're, so Hazel had threatened to throw snowballs at us if we... Oh, that didn't work at all. Oh that, this is not working at all. Oh so there are, that was a horrible attempt at throwing snowballs. So sorry. Our life, day event, <laughs> our life day event involves throwing snowballs. Um, in order to get rewards. In, in order to get rewards. Um, and I can tell you that uh, every, every, <laughs> reward, uh, every reward that we've had previously, um, including those which were exclusive to the cartel market, are all available in-game for snow-covered parcels, which yeah. is the currency that you get with these. Um, and uh, and there's going to be some other stuff too, but we'll talk about that uh, in the blog that we're going to release tomorrow. Yep. And then the last thing we're doing is bringing back double XP. Let me let me, let me me show that you guys, it's behind our faces, so you oh, can yeah, see okay. it. Um, again, the dates will come out. It, it's going to run for the last two weeks in December. The idea is for those of you who want to go back and experience the core game at a slightly increased pace, um, can do so over the Christmas break. Yep. Obviously coinciding with the release of the movie. That's right. All right. So uh, why don't we do a full recap of everything that we've talked about today. So okay. and, uh, and then we'll round it up with giving away some T-shirts, which we'll tell you how to do it. So Tate, if you're listening, our good, our good beautiful friend Tate is back at his desk. He'll be the one that's running the raffle. Uh, Tate, be ready for some sweet raffle action. Okay. Um, so the recap probably goes like this. And again, let's do it together. We'll see what yeah, happens. Yeah, we got it. Um, so 
First of all, thank you all so much for continuing to play our game and to be subscribers. Absolutely. A lot of what we talked about in this stream and a lot of what we're trying to do is reward you guys for being subscribers, both by making the best game that we can make and tell the best story that we can tell, but by also having the subscriber reward program and doing things like the bonus chapter. Um, the, geez, what was next? So that yep. was the main thing. Uh, HK Companion. So the rewards, HK Companion, bonus chapter, monthly rewards, early access, uh, lots of events going on. Yep. Monthly rewards each uh, month as monthly well. Monthly rewards. Yep. yep. Uh, uh, Anarchy in Paradise has a lot more to yep. it than the chapter. Yep. Coming um, on February 11th or February 9th with early access. Yep. Um, and all the events we just talked about yep. coming out. So we have Greer Rackle Bounty, 4th Anniversary, Life Day, Double Life Experience. Day. Yep. And so just to recap some of that stuff. So um, more information on the 4th Anniversary will be available sometime later this week. We'll be posting all the information on what those rewards are. Um, for the, um, the subscriber rewards that are a part of the rest of the chapters, um, that might already be up. If not, they'll be up on the website probably by the time we're done with this stream in a, in a couple minutes. Um, and we'll be doing a blog tomorrow that's going to talk about all the rest of the events that are coming throughout the month of December. Um, yeah. One other note as well. So I know a lot of you guys are going to have a lot of questions about some of this stuff, specifically about, about chapters or really anything that we didn't yet talk about on this stream. Yep. Um, what we're going to be doing is as soon as I get back to my desk after this, um, I'm going to be posting a recap of everything we talked about today. Put your questions in there. Any topic, anything you want to know about, put your questions in there, and I'll be working with Ben to get responses to a lot of those questions in that thread. Yep. Um, so we just really wanted to focus on telling you guys about the subscriber awards and all the yeah. great stuff coming in Chapter 10 today. So let's talk about raffle uh, time. Let's talk about raffle time. So I'm going to go to this slide while we talk about some sweet raffle action. Okay. Okay. So everyone's typing exclamation point raffle, which is not actually how. Yeah, I just saw Tate say, "I don't know why you're 